Another day of location scouting around where I live. Now I've traveled around 45 minutes with the car to a place called Forsaleden. A rather touristy place where people, families, kids bathe in this crystal clear, but probably cold water. I'm not here for bathing. I'm here for maybe finding some photo spots, maybe a photo today, but also can, if I can come back, maybe in sunset or sunrise. Now it's the middle of the day, so the light is rather harsh. But now I will try to capture uh, an image of this small, small, tiny waterfall that's behind me. There aren't many good spots for a tripod here, but I tried to balance it on the border just above the water here. It's not very stable and I have to take out the branches when I take the shot. That's no problem. I'm taking one shot with a long exposure, but I don't think that looks good because the long exposure makes the water gets it, water is all white. It's all silky, no texture at all. You can't see that it's water even. So I'm gonna try more longer, shorter and shorter exposures, shorter and shorter shutter times. One tenth of a second look actually looks quite good. Uh, I will try a few more. And if I get any good pictures, you will see them right now. To tell you the truth, I don't like using tripods. I, I think it's just cumbersome. All this packing it up, packing it down. No, I don't like it. But if you want long exposures on waterfalls, you have to use tripods. Unfortunately. Maybe you think it's strange that we have this turquoise blue water in Sweden, which it is, but I've heard that there are some kind of minerals in, in the ground that makes the water this color. And on the other side of uh, this small lake, there's some beautiful small waterfalls and also a stair for fish. It's called Laxtrappan. It's made for salmon. Salmon in Swedish is lax, trappa is stairs, salmon stairs. Got it? you find shots that maybe they are not so obvious this is like this is not even a lake it's just a pool of water in nature but it's it's like a mirror and mirror against the trees and the cliffs in the background and the cloudy sky that could be emotive what I'm trying to do is a long exposure so I smooth it out even further because there are insects and stuff in the water that makes a little bit of movement in the water and if I have a long exposure maybe I can smooth that out also. Yeah it's okay but I think I have to underexpose it a bit because the sky is so bright it's against the sun so I have to underexpose it so uh, and now I have to level it again as well. Okay, let's see, level, something like that. I'm at 17 millimeters on my wide angle lens. I have two lenses with me, both from Tamron, 17 to 28, f2.8, and the, the 30, no, 28 to 200. It's 2.8 to 5.6. I only need, I only need those when I'm out, uh, shooting landscapes and waterfalls and stuff if i'm doing portraits that's another that's another issue i will try to underexpose a bit so minus 0.7 is that okay minus one i will try 
minus one. One stop underexposed. Now the sky is recoverable, but I think I will do a bracket here also. Let's see what I like most when I come home. The, the, the exposure time on the first shot is one second. And then we have a bracket with two stops over and two stops under, or is it vice versa? I don't know. Two stops over and under and a normal exposure. the salmon stairs, which turns right here and uh, goes further down into that blue lake you saw before. I'm gonna try and capture a long exposure picture of, uh, of, the, of the stairs, of the stairs, the fish stairs. Closing out to one of the bigger waterfalls. Can I say bigger? I think I can say bigger. Uh, I hope you can hear me because uh, the water is quite loud. But this is cool, but what exposure time to have is pretty difficult to choose. Because if I have a too long exposure, it all gets blurry and white, silky, but you can't even see that it's water anymore. Uh, I think I will land in something like one tenth, one fifteenth of a second here. I've tried a few pictures, I'm gonna try a few more. a good day good location scouting i definitely have to come back uh, when the lighting is different maybe closer to sunset maybe in august why not now you might ask well it's because we're now in the end of june and we don't really have a sunset where i live in sweden it's bright nearly 24 hours a day the sun sets a little bit around midnight but not so much that it counts as a sunset sunset even so in a few weeks there's gonna be more of a sunset and I have to do this more often I have to not only location scouting but also taking pictures uh, in the area where I live because I haven't been so good at that I've always liked taking pictures when I'm traveling but I don't always have time to travel and also travel isn't free what is free though, is to ask questions and comment in the comment section of this video, and also subscribing is free. <laughs>